Hey, good morning, YouTube people. Alright, so if I sound half asleep right now, it's probably because I am. I just woke up, but I promise you guys I would do a full day of eating, so that is what I'm doing right now. Um, I am going to show you my breakfast in a few minutes, so I just wanted to explain what I eat for breakfast. I don't always eat the same thing. Yesterday I had gluten-free cereal with some fruit and like a bite of cottage cheese. That was pretty much my breakfast. Not very exciting, and then I had a coffee with that. Um, so today we're switching it up a bit. I'm going back to my usual. I'm having two slices of gluten-free bread that I get from a bakery that's right near us, and it's a lot better than like the bread that you get in the freezer section, like the Udi's <laughs> gluten-free bread, to be honest. Then I'm going to be having some light butter with it, and then I usually have some jam. Right now it's been blueberry, which is really good actually. I don't know why I don't buy blueberry jam more often. I usually have some cottage cheese as well. I love cottage cheese. I know it's such a random food to love, but like I literally have it every single day. I have it as I'm making breakfast, so like I'll have, I'll be making my coffee and my toast, and like while that's cooking, starting, <laughs> I will just like take some spoonfuls of cottage cheese and eat it. So I don't really count how much it is, but it's probably around like a quarter or a third a cup of cottage cheese. And I have my coffee with two tablespoons of. 10% cream and a teaspoon of MCT oil and the reason I have MCT oil is just because when I was on the keto diet I started taking it and I've just like really liked it in my coffee since then. You use like a little frother and then you just like blend it all up and it gets really like foamy on top and yeah, it's really good. So yeah, I just keep it in and I find it keeps me a little more full and that's what I do for breakfast. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. <laughs> casually filming breakfast and then you uh, look in your backyard and there's people running around. <laughs> I don't know if they're still there, but <laughs> apparently our driveway is getting, um, or at least the trees around our driveway are getting done today because I know they were supposed to do that a while ago. And yeah, they decided to show up today and knock on the door. <laughs> I'm in full on pajama mode and yeah, I was not expecting anyone, so. Lovely surprise. <laughs> <clears throat> this is what my breakfast looks like. <laughs> Not very exciting, but I have one piece with just the light butter, one piece with the blueberry jam, and peanut butter. I forgot to mention the peanut butter. I do that sometimes instead of butter. Um, normally, I would use natural peanut butter, but honestly, I don't really care very much. <laughs> and the natural peanut butter is somewhere in the back of our fridge right now. So this was just really easy. And then I always have my coffee after my breakfast, so I will show you that when I'm done this.
Alright guys, so this is the final result of my breakfast. Just have my coffee. I'm going to drink this and then that will be the end of my breakfast. I also wanted to show you that I have been having some cashews as well. It's so random. Um, just these ones here that I showed you earlier. Um, I usually just like snack on these as well. Just like the cottage cheese kind of like as I'm making my breakfast. So, because like the gluten-free bread is not very filling. It's very small slices. So I usually try and have something else with it. And I find cashews are really good. They're my favorite nut. So I do tend to eat a lot of those. Probably more than I should sometimes. But oh well. That's life. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go enjoy this coffee now. It looks so good. And I will see you guys for snack time or lunch time. One or the other. Alright, hey guys. So I'm back for lunch. I was going to do my usual egg whites for lunch. But today, I um, actually found out I'm going rock climbing, I think, which I'm really excited about. So I think I'm going to um, up the calories just slightly. So I'm going to have cottage cheese <laughs> instead of egg whites. Yes, I had cottage cheese with breakfast. Yes, I'm having it again because I have an obsession. It's fine. Um, and then I'm going to have a gluten-free ciabatta bun, which are really good from the same bakery that I get the bread from. Same thing as breakfast, probably gonna have butter and jam on it. I'm very boring that way. Probably gonna snack on some cucumber while I make everything. And then uh, for dessert, I might have some Halo Top ice cream with like one little mini brownie like broken up on top. That's pretty much what my lunch has been the past couple days and I really enjoy it. So I've just been eating it again and again because I'm a pretty boring person. But anyways, that's what I'm going to eat, and I'll show you guys as I make it. So if you guys haven't already noticed, I'm kind of really weird with the way I eat my food. Like, I never have, like, a full meal together, like, unless I actually plan it that way. I always end up eating, like one thing first then the next thing then the next thing i don't know why i do this but i don't know i just enjoy it more that way if that makes any sense and it feels like more food i don't know but anyway so i'm just gonna eat this cottage cheese and then i will make my ciabatta bun and then have my ice cream after so yeah i'm gonna enjoy this right now <laughs> Alright guys, I literally have the weirdest eating habits. <laughs> I don't even put the butter or jam like on it. I like to do it like as I eat this. So yeah, this is my mess. And I'm literally eating the same thing I eat for breakfast. <laughs> but I don't even care. It's so good. I love bread. This gluten free bread is really amazing. So I'm going to go eat this right now. And then I will see the anything else afterwards. 